Hello, I'm Kevin Merry, and in this screencast I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel to produce interactive learning resources that can be used in a virtual learning environment. Now on the screen you'll notice that there are six columns. In each of those columns there's some different bits of information. The first bit of information has got a list of students and the next four have got student uh, modules taken on say a higher education foundation degree course and the final column shows the learner's tutor. Now, if we go back to the student column you'll notice that there is a drop down menu. If you click that menu it lists all the students that are in that particular group or class. If we click on one of those students you'll notice that the grades changed. Okay. Now the way that we do this is using what's called data validation. Now, if you look at the tabs across the top you'll see data, click data you can find data validation on the top row there. Okay, We use data validation to actually produce this list of students. In order for Excel to look up the student grades we use something called VLOOKUP which can be found in formulas. If go to LOOKUP and reference you'll notice that VLOOKUP is at the very bottom there. Now I would envisage that this tool could be used um, successfully as an administrative tool as this is here so you could look up student grades for example so if we look at a couple of other students we go to the bottom and look at Winston you notice that Winston's passed everything doesn't need to retake anything so well done to his tutor Sarah if we look at somebody else if we look at Mark we'll notice that Mark has also passed everything although he didn't do too well in biomechanics so this could be used as a good administrative tool the other way in which I think it could be used is potentially as a revision uh, resource. Okay, so if we look at this sheet here, we've got some hormone revision or endocrine system revision. Now, at the top of the sheet, we've got uh, some VLOOKUP and data validation, which lists some major hormones for our revision. Okay, so if we look at the drop down menu, pick one of the hormones, if we pick insulin, it tells us what the abbreviation of that hormone is. Uh, what tissue secretes the hormone and then the function of the hormone. Okay, so we can derive that information for revision purposes. If we go to a different one, if we look at ghrelin, okay, it tells us that ghrelin has no abbreviation, it's secreted by the stomach and it helps to stimulate appetite, helps to secrete growth hormone from the anterior pituitary gland. So learners can use this in a virtual learning environment to actually remind themselves of, of the key information that's been delivered as part of the uh, module or course. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice below the uh, list of hormones is another drag and drop activity. Now this particular drag and, drag and drop activity is quite an important one in terms of studying hormones because this uh, particular diagram or question if you like tends to come up in lots of student exams particularly at higher education levels. So. If we just move all of the uh, labels into their correct position, okay. The idea is really that the students use the information provided at the top of the sheet to help them fill in the part at the bottom of the sheet or the drag and drop activity. Oh, we've got everything there. Just one more and then that slots nicely into position. Now as I said, the idea would be for the students to actually look at the information in this list to help them actually complete uh, a drag and drop activity such as the one at the bottom. Now I think this would work quite well as a recap activity at the start of a session or a seminar. It would also work quite well as a formative assessment activity. So if some information were delivered and then a break was given for students to actually um, have a go at a, at a worksheet like this. Okay, so really you can use the VLOOKUP function, if statements, and data validation to produce quick and simple uh, revision worksheets in Excel. Uh, and these can be combined with other types of resource such as drag and drop activities to help cement that particular type of learning. Thank you.